To give students a way out of poverty, in March, Myanmar City volunteers began rebuilding 12 schools in remote villages of Danyin Township and launched a scholarship program for 1,400 students at Dinganyong No. 5 Junior High School. For four years now, Tsuji volunteers have brought their love and care to help improve the lives of the needy students of Ding Gang Yong No. 5 Junior High School. In 2009, Tsuji completed the rebuilding of a local school destroyed by Cyclone Nargis, marking it as Tsuji's first Project Hope in Myanmar. From that point forward, students looked forward to seeing the angels clad in blue and white visit. Tsuji from Taiwan's visits each year makes us very happy. As their subsidies allowed us, the children without means to do so attend school. June is when the students head back to school in this country, and the financial aid given to the over 1,400 students is often put to use to purchase backpacks, school supplies, and other necessities. <laughs> Volunteers also took the opportunity to share with teachers some of Tsuji's humanity. I should curb my temper and learn how to smile more. I should be mindful when teaching students. I've also learned that small amounts of money can be used to do good deeds as well. I've decided to do more good deeds in the future. Bravely staring down life's difficulties at the school, teachers' and students' hearts are united in facing their challenges in the future. <laughs> Making their way across the muddy road, Myanmar City volunteers and Sit Bingwen Junior High School teachers commence their home visitations in remote villages in Tanyin Township. One of the students they are visiting is ninth grader Po Yi Kine, who has been doing odd jobs to make money for the family since young. This child works hard in school, but her family situation isn't that great. She often needs to work to make ends meet for the family. Now that she's heading into high school, I had hoped she could receive some help to continue her education. This is why I asked for Tsuji's assistance. The encouragement from her teacher and Tsuji volunteers has given young Po Yi Kine strength to face the days ahead. I want to go to school and make a living to give my parents a better life. In 2010, Tsuji volunteers' relief efforts in Tanyin Township included distributing rice seedlings to farmers and school supplies to students. This year, efforts were expanded to include the rebuilding of 12 schools in remote areas and scholarships for needy students to fulfill their educational dreams. The kids that come from farming villages, when compared to city kids, are more likely to have a difficult home life. This is why we have taken the opportunity through a rebuilding project to help as many of these disadvantaged kids as possible. I really want to thank the volunteers for coming from Yangon to help the empowerment students of our village. All of our kids want to go to school and Tsuji's assistance has given them hope. As a resident of the village, I am extremely moved. Getting to know the students better through this home visitation, the teachers that accompanied Tsuji volunteers on this recent trip also did some self-reflection. Through this home visitation, I realized I didn't know much about my students' family life. When I return to school, I will continue to care for them so they will not feel so helpless. Spending an entire day visiting seven students, Tsuji volunteers never complained about the distances traveled, but instead relished in the efforts to help more students in need. <laughs>